Hi guys, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Do you know what most people do when there's a crisis? They pray. Archaeologists keep digging stuff up that shows we've always prayed. People of many faiths pray. Even atheists, that's people who don't believe in God, admit to praying sometimes. Well, I want to tell you a bit about what prayer is. But first, I want to tell you a little story about a cat, because I think it will help you remember. Tabby, the vicar's cat, got stuck up in a tree. The vicar was very worried because, try as he might, Tabby the cat would not come down. So he mounted a rescue operation. He got his ladder and a rope. He leant the ladder against the tree and climbed up to tie the rope to the end of the branch that Tabby the cat was sitting on. Then he started to pull. He pulled as hard as he could, but he just couldn't pull the branch down far enough. And that's when he had an idea. He decided to tie the other end of the rope to the bumper of his car. He gently drove forward and the branch started to lower. His plan was working, but then the inevitable occurred. A catastrophe happened. The rope snapped and catapulted the cat into the sky. No more was heard of the cat until a few weeks later when the vicar was doing his visiting rounds. He went to the house of a young mum. When he went in, he saw her young son, Tommy, lying on the rug, stroking a cat. His cat, Tabby Cat. How did you find such a lovely cat? The vicar asked, trying to look innocent. You'll never believe it, replied the mother. My little Tommy has been asking for a cat for months. In the end, I got so tired of it, I told him the only thing to do was to pray. So we put our hands together and closed our eyes and prayed. Dear Jesus, please send us a cat. And you'll never believe what happened next. We looked up to the heavens and this wonderful cat fell down and landed at our feet. Prayer is really a conversation with God. A conversation is just talking and listening. God loves having conversations. He loves to listen to the things we say. We could never interrupt God. He's never too busy eating dinner or working or editing his photos. You can talk to God anytime and anywhere. God wants us to tell him how we feel. He wants us to tell him what we need. He wants us to ask him questions because we matter to God. I matter to God and you matter to God. Praying can be hard though because God is almost invisible and not always easy to hear. There are distractions all around us like the TV and games and things to do. There are disappointments, things go wrong, bad things happen. We have questions, things we don't understand. Well, this is what I do. As well as praying anytime and anywhere, I try to make a special time to sit and just be with God. I sometimes imagine Jesus sitting right beside me. You know what it feels like when you're with a favorite person, someone you love sitting with because they love you and always listen to you. When I was young, I loved climbing onto my nan's lap. She always was so pleased to spend time with me. She would hug me and listen to me and I felt safe. I felt special. I felt secure. That's how it is when you take time to sit with God and have a chat, a conversation with him. And did you know prayer changes things? Your choices, your thoughts, your actions and prayers echo in eternity. You have the chance to ask for peace, for healing, for help or whatever you need because life matters, you matter. God wants you to ask anything. You might not always understand why things happen or don't happen, but God promises to hold you and comfort you through whatever happens. I don't know if you believe in God like me or not. You might have another faith. Perhaps you're not sure yet, but I believe God is real and life is a miracle. And the most powerful thing you can do is to pray. I want to give you a moment to think about what that means to you. Perhaps you want to tell God how you feel right now. Or you might want to tell God what you need. Or perhaps there's something you want to ask. Maybe you just need to sit quietly and just be, to feel safe and special and secure and comforted. Just use this time to think about what this means to you. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.